What's going on YouTube? K-Rob here, back with a Jujutsu Kaisen manga reading chapter 138. Now this chapter is a little bit after the Shibuya incident. Uh, people have been telling me that, yo, if you want to start the manga, start at chapter 138. So here we are. Thank y'all so much for all the love and support y'all have been showing me on this channel and on this series, bro. We are in this Jujutsu Kaisen manga reading for the long run, bro. We're going to try to get up to date as quickly as possible as we did with the blue lock thank y'all so much for everyone that is along for the ride i appreciate y'all so so much and without further ado let's jump right into the reading all right y'all we got chapter 138 the zenin clan is she dead the girl my naoya zenin special grade one sorcerer worry about the head of the clan right now besides the one who's dying is maki right maki got burnt up so i, I need to know you know what i'm saying what What's going on with, with the girl Maki? I'm glad that like it's not confirmed that she's dead. So I'm I'm thinking like what like maybe she's gonna come back soon, you feel me? So yeah, I like Maki too, so hopefully, you know, we see her soon, uh, sometime down the line. Really? Whatever then. Maki may be pretty, but she's unacceptable. She doesn't know how to support a man. <laughs> Any woman who can't walk three steps behind a man should get stabbed in the back and die. In that respect, Mai is great. She's got the same face as Maki and is just as buxom. Though she acts tough, she knows she's a woman. You're late. What have you been doing? Ogi Zenin, special grade one sorcerer. Oh, snap. Oh, this is a. Hold on. There's a bunch of special grade ones in the Zenin. Hold on now. Janichi Zenin, special grade one sorcerer. Right now, your father is on death's door. Sorry, but it doesn't matter if I come or not. But he said your father is on death's door. Are they talking about Nobito? Or is Nobito already dead here? Is that the father he's talking about? Because the next head of the Zenin clan is me. My older brothers are all losers. And you, my uncle, haven't amounted to much despite being his little brother. His daughter is out of the question. As for Jinichi, well, your face is no good. Too bad you and Toji's places aren't reversed. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo, he's like, yo, he's pissed. <laughs> Please, daddy's hovering at death's door. Why can't we all get along? This this now you dude is so cocky, bro. It's crazy. I see everyone is here. Master Naobito Zenin, the head of the Zenin clan, has just passed away. Oh, there we go. There's our answer. Never mind. Never mind. He just passed. Dang, bro. My Mr. My Mr. Frames per second dude just died, bro. Oh, look, look. Everybody's sad besides now you, bro. He's like, yeah. Nah, I'm going to be the head of the Zenin. All right, cool, bro. <laughs> I, Furudate, am in the possession of his will. According to Master Nobito's wishes, I am to read the will. When Ogi Zenin, Jinichi Zenin, and Naoya Zenin are all present. If there are no objections, I will now read the will. The 27th head of the Zenin clan is to be Naoya Zenin. Naoya is to inherit all assets, including the cursed tools stored in the Tokyo Prefectural Jiu-Jitsu High School and the Zenin family cursed warehouses. Upon approval by either Ogi Zenin or Jinichi Zenin, Naoya may take over all duties. <laughs> whatever. However, if Satoru Gojo has died or become mentally incapacitated for any reason, a written agreement concluded with Toji Fushigiro will welcome Megumi Fushigiro into the Zenin clan, whereupon he shall become the head of the Zenin clan and all assets shall pass to him. Oh, wait a minute. So Megumi was going to be the leader of the Zenin clan. That's crazy. Hold on. That's crazy, dog. What? <laughs> yo, yo now he's like, wait, huh? In the end, those two are weak. They'll prefer some brat they barely know to me, so they won't do anything. Where is Megumi now? What's he doing? I don't know the details, but it appears he is searching for Yuji Itadori in Tokyo. Who's that? Sukuna's vessel. Then tell the higher ups that Naoya Zenin will kill Sukuna's vessel. Megumi is where Sukuna's vessel is, right? I'll kill both of them. Bro! Hold, bro! So we got Yuta trying to kill Yuji now, and now we got this Naoya Zenin trying to kill Yuji. Bro, bro. Oh my goodness, man. Itadori, I'm sorry, bro. This is crazy. Tokyo has become a realm of demons now. It doesn't matter when or how people die. I'll work it out after I kill them. After all, I am the head of the Zenin clan. Sorry for not acting sooner. Oh yeah, this I remember this. This is part from the anime. The situation had reached a point where I thought I should temporarily just keep an eye on things. Have you realized I'm not necessarily on your side? 
I'm just a humble beauty who wants to eradicate cursed spirits from the world. By way of apology, my comrades and I will take responsibility for delivering those kids who were there. It's about time I confront Tengen. What will you do? Tang Yuji. Oh my god, no. Oh my goodness. Yuji, how are your injuries? My boy Chozo. Oh my god. Chozo. It's crazy to see Chozo like a, a good guy, bro. Like, look at him, man. I'm good somehow, despite being hit by Black Flash. I think that's because of Sukuna. I can tell that his strength is growing. Yuji, don't worry about me. You can return to Jujutsu High. I have to collect the remains of Shoso and the others anyway. I'm not worried about you. The problem isn't whether I want to return or not. Sukuna is plotting something involving Fushiguro. Besides, I killed too many people. Who's to say that someone you save won't kill someone in the future? <laughs> I can no longer stay with everyone. Are you fine with it? I also killed your little brothers. It's fine. That was a misunderstanding. If Iso and Kachizu were in my place, they would say the same thing. It isn't about forgiving or not forgiving. Brothers are just like that. Let's go. Right now, we have to take care of as many cursed spirits as possible. Dang, look at, look at this brotherly duo right here, bro. Oh my goodness, man. I just, I just never thought I'd see the day where Chozo and Yuji are just fighting alongside each other as brothers, man. Like, this, this was a crazy, crazy discovery in the anime, man. Oh my goodness. Oh, hey, oh, hey Yuda. Yo, Yuda and Naoya, bro. Oh, man. Oh, my. Nah, I gotta read the next chapter. I got to. I got to. Chapter 139, Hunter. Oh, yeah. This is the clap that ended, um, the last episode ended with. And then all the cursed spirits came out. Oh, my God. Here's some. Dang. My boy, Yuji's. Is, he is an athlete. He's a runner. He's a runner. Dude, look at all the cursed spirits, bro. Oh, my God. Dude, he is doing the dash. Chozo! Piercing blood. Bro, Chozo is such the... He's like... He's like the perfect blood manipulator, bro. I don't know, like... I know Kamo is like a blood manipulator, too. But, like, Chozo is the definition of a blood manipulator. If you looked up what a blood manipulator is in a dictionary, bro, Chozo's face would pop up for sure. Yuji. Oh no, dog. Jeez. And hey, look at his scars too, bro. Incredible. He'd already impressed me with his power when we fought. Since then, he's added finesse. Fluid control of cursed energy along with unreal physical strength. He's now a demon god, bro. That's crazy, bro. No more innocent Yuji, man. I remember when Yuji was like all hee hees and ha ha's now. Nah, bro. Too much happened, bro. Like, he's changed. This is like a 15-year-old kid, bro. Like, that's crazy, man. And he still isn't fully recovered. As impressive as ever, little brother. Are you still calling me that? I'll keep calling you that over and over. Try to recollect, after all. Your father had stitches on his forehead, didn't he? I don't see Megumi. Am I the first one here? Oh, who is that? Was he talking about Fushiguro? Is that possible? Is he that slow? <laughs> what are you two doing? You totally stand out. Don't you want to run? Run? Huh? Don't you know? Your death sentence is back on since Satoru's support is gone. Huh? Ah, Gojo's so flexible that he has saved many a sorcerer. My business is with Megumi, so I honestly don't care if you live or die. But I can't have you scampering around. So I'll start by breaking your legs. What do you want with Fushiguro? I think I'll have him die. But it helped if you wrote a little something first. Oh! Oh, wait, I heard Megumi is looking for you. He's fast. Hold up, hold up, the 2v1. Wait, this now you do this is official. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's 2v1. This ain't Jump Kaiser no more. Hold on. Oh. Dog, he's really fast, but something's weird. It's probably a curse technique. You're tougher than I thought, to be honest. I didn't expect much. I understand he's the vessel, but who is that with him? Shall I try upping my speed? You can, he can go faster? Wait, oh, somebody's here. Gojo Sensei? No, something creepier. You're not alone. Dude. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> It's, it's not only the fact that now you're pulled up, but even you would have pulled up at this. Bro, nah, dude. This is about to be crazy. This is about to be crazy, bro. 
<laughs> Look at my go you did know, bro. Oh my god, bro. Oh my goodness. I have to keep going. I have to. One more, one more. Alright, chapter 140 execution. Look at hey, you the man. Oh my god, bro. You look like a dog here. Bro, you look like a dog. Who are you? Whoever he is, his objective appears to be. Oh yeah, nah. Oh yeah, nah, he's pissed. Nah, he's pissed. He's pit yeah, 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 that boy Yuda is like that, he's like that, hold on. <laughs> Who's with Itadori, hmm? So you're Yuji's executioner. Wait just a second, I'm on your side. You're a Kotsu, right? Kotsu, he's the second year Fushiguro mentioned, just like Gojo Sensei. Who are you? He's a special great sorcerer. I'm now Yazenin, Maki's cousin. I'm also here to kill Itadori. You gotta run, Yuji. Don't worry, I won't interfere. But in return, huh? Blondie is a speed type, but there's a hidden trick to it. Playing chase with him could be bad, so I'll just take him. Will you be alright? Yeah, I will. But the one they want is you, Yuji. This way, Yuji won't have to fight human sorcerers or feel bad about leaving. Just think about getting away from Akotsu, the one with dark hair. I'm guessing he's the same type as Satoru Gojo. If you fight him, you'll die. <laughs> such a handful. Even if you kill Itadori, will you refrain from telling your superiors for a while? I wish I hadn't mentioned Megumi. That was scary. He's bait for someone I want to meet. I'll meet you at yesterday's spot. Alright. Very well. I'll leave the other to you. My god, here we go. <laughs> Yo. Oh, he about to go after Yuji, bruh. Oh, here we go. Ah. <laughs> He's chasing after bro. He's fast. All the while holding a drawn katana. He's fast. I expected to take him out in my initial rush. Did they guess I'd try to block a kotsu? <laughs> oh my god. Chozo for his now. Oh my god. <laughs> it's crazy because like, didn't they say in the anime that Chozo doesn't have like really good hand-to-hand -hand combat? But bro, I'm not gonna lie. He's He's been putting in that work with that hand-to-hand. -hand. Bro, he even, he even puts in some kicks too, bro. I saw you earlier. That was blood manipulation, right? I don't know why you had that, but other than piercing blood, it's not that frightening. And in order to use piercing blood, you need convergence, which requires charging up. I don't need to say the rest for you to understand. This is checkmate. So now, you die. No, I'm warning you. Do you think you can leave here alive after trying to hurt my little brother? Right! You tried to piss up Yuji! And my boy chose us like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Think again. They, bro, they so lucky Toto is out of commission right now, bro. They so lucky. They, they lucky took my boy Toto out of commission. Oh my goodness. Dude. <laughs> hey, hey, that boy Yuda is not asking no questions. I was sure I sliced him, but you're like Maki. Oh, 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 let's go. Oh, Lord. I can't shake this guy out in the open. Now is my chance to dart inside. Uh-uh. He said nah. Surprised? I don't look like the power type. Despite not having much power, he has an immense amount of cursed energy. I'm actually on the weak side. He compensates for his lack of power with cursed energy reinforcement. Everyone does it, but when he does, you're the exact opposite of me. You noticed, huh? I've got more than Gojo Sensei, cursed energy. Huh? But Sensei has the six eyes, so the energy that's lost when he activates a cursed energy is infinitesimally close to zero. What in the big word? Oh my goodness. Of course, Sensei is the best. After all, I can run out of cursed energy, but he doesn't. Now I'm done talking. Yo! <laughs> Seriously? The flow of energy for an elite sorcerer is difficult to read, but for different reasons than you. An elite fighter has greater accuracy in controlling cursed energy. A right punch. Average. Making it difficult to predict an attack until the moment it's executed. Is it really a right punch? Elite. Dang, but this guy, his whole body, including his katana, is constantly surging with cursed energy. The problem isn't about reading his moves. His every attack can be decisive and he can restrict all damage to a minimum. You got it from here. Sorry, but I can't die just yet. <laughs> bro, I swear, bro. Y'all were saying that everything at the Shibuya is peak, bro. So I'm so excited to see like what is going to happen, what is going on, bro. Oh my god, this journey of catching up is going to be so crazy.
Where they all have it, folks. Chapter 138, 139, and 140 of Jujutsu Kaisen after the Shibuya arc, bro. Oh my goodness. I, oh, I can't even explain how exciting this is, bro. We got introduced to a couple new characters. Uh, Naoya Zenin. I don't even know, bro. I, we haven't even seen his full potential yet. Well, I haven't seen his full potential. A lot of y'all, you know what I'm saying, are caught up with Jujutsu Kaisen, but I'm still a newbie, so please, spoiler free in the comment section. Uh, just, you know what I'm saying, just thank you so much. If y'all did enjoy the chapter, let me know what y'all y'all thoughts are in the comment section down below, bro. Stay cheerful, stay motivated, and stay blessed, y'all. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace!